um, I wanted to just remind you of who our Lord Jesus was in a political sense. Because, you know, in a couple days there's the election, right? So it's, now's the time to share it. Um, remember the atmosphere then when Jesus arrived. There were the Pharisees, very stringent, uh, strict, rule-based people. It was all about the law, and if you don't follow the law, then you're not holy and you're not good, and we, were, we don't like you. They were very uh, conservative, you could say. <laughs> uh, and then there was the Sadducees. They didn't really believe all the things in the Old Testament. They changed a lot of stuff. They were much more focused on other things. They were liberal in their theology. They kind of went to the other spectrum. And then there were the Zealots. The Zealots, in fact, one of them was, pu was pulled in to be one of the disciples. There was the Zealots, and the Zealots were the people that wanted to overthrow the whole system. They hated the Roman Empire. They didn't want to be under the Roman Empire. So they were wanting complete fundamental change, systemic change. Uh, and then there were the regular people who, you know, they could go one way or the other. They were waiting for the best argument, for the most persuasive way. And who was most persuasive? Who got the biggest crowds? It wasn't the scribes who taught for the Pharisees. It wasn't the Sadducees who came in and said, here's this new stuff that you should learn. It wasn't the zealots because it was dangerous to be a part of their group. It was Jesus who came with love, with compassion, with power. You know, he taught, but he taught the truth. He didn't just say a lot of stuff. And he loved people genuinely who were from all sides of the spectrum and who uh, hated the spectrum. <laughs> he was a whole different kind of thing. He brought his own kingdom. And so again... I want to remind you, it is a huge privilege to vote, so you should, um, and you should consider it prayerfully, take your time to choose the right candidates, the right positions on different things, and as you can look at it and study it and come away saying, I've done what is honoring to God, then you've done well, using your scriptures as the basis. That is the foundation for everything, right? Everything in our life, in our family, in our church, even in our uh, country, it should be. And so, if you can seek the Lord, read the scriptures, and vote, and say, I've honored God, then praise the Lord. And if someone comes at you, and they're from a different side of the spectrum, um, if they're from a different side of the uh, world view, uh, you should love them. You should encourage them. You should bring them the gospel. And if they're a Christian, and somehow they're on the different side, and you're thinking, well, I read, and I prayed, and I looked at it, and this is what I feel God telling me. <laughs> and they say, well, I've read and I've prayed and I've looked at it too, and I'm over here. Well, then we have to give grace and mercy and remember that this, this beautiful country that we live in, as great as it is, it is only temporary. The kingdom of God is forever. And we're first and foremost citizens of heaven. Amen?